With how fast AI moves on a regular basis, it's hard to be excited when new models or new features come out, but when it comes to Claude Code, it truly blew my mind. The thing about Claude Code is that it runs in a terminal window, like SSH via PowerShell and Windows, or in just directly inside the Mac terminal. The way that it works is you just put it in a directory on your server, and it has the full context of an entire plugin, an entire website, or even your whole server, and it can run commands and create files for you. It's it's truly amazing. One way that I used it is on a Laravel app that I created called Time to Wrench. It's a DIY maintenance tracking app, and as the app started to get more complex and it had more features, the other AI tools like the Claude in the web browser started to lose context because there was so many files and different things that it just would hallucinate, make stuff up, and break things. However, when I ran Claude code on this project, it was incredible. It had the full context and fixed bugs and created features that I was after for weeks and weeks. So it got me thinking, how would Claude code work in the context of WordPress? What can it do? Well, one specific thing that I wanna try to do is have it create for me a custom block. I wanna just have a simple hero block that allows the user to change background image and things like that. And I wanna use Claude code to actually create that for us. So I'm gonna show you how it works and just give you a general idea of how powerful this crazy thing is. So first of all, I'm running WordPress on this local server. This is a cloud panel server. And if you wanna learn more about that, I do have a video on my channel as well as a course called Cloud Panel Mastery that you can sign up for. Cloud Panel is super awesome and that's how I'm running this local server and this local site because I personally would never give Claude Code access to a live site. It's really powerful and it has lots of restrictions to prevent it from doing crazy things. But even still, I do not want an AI tool this powerful touching my live sites. So that's how I'm running this particular local WordPress site. So like I mentioned, Claude Code runs in your terminal. So the first time you set it up on the server, you need to install it. it. Sounds pretty complicated, but it's really not. If you can SSH into your server, then you can install this. And then what we need to do is of course, just log into the server. So let me do that real quick. Okay, so I'm logged into the server and I browse down to this directory where my WordPress install is located. So it's just home, WP test, and then that domain that I have activated, which of course is just a local domain. So now from here, this is the point at which I can activate Claude code and it will start working inside of this directory and have access to all of the sub files, but nothing above this directory. So it can't go backward and look at the other sites or the server and all of its files. So all I would need to do from here is just type in Claude to activate Claude code. If you've never used this Claude code before, there's a couple of simple setup processes that you'll walk through, but I've already done that. So now it's ready for me to just give it a prompt. Of course, just like any AI tool, we need to be super clear. So I'm going to go ahead and type in my prompt for this plugin. And I've tried this a couple of times off camera. So I've learned a couple of things that I'm going to go ahead and incorporate. And I'll show you what that prompt is before I hit enter. Okay, so let's see if this works. My prompt is create me a simple custom WordPress block that's called simple hero. It should be a full width here that allows you the user to set background image from the media library, add an overlay, simple H1 title and description, as well as an optional button that will appear if the user sets button text and button link. It needs to be as simple as possible with no build steps or any non-WordPress dependencies. That's a really critical part that I've learned in just this testing phase and rely as much as possible on native WordPress functions. Now that I've pressed enter, what ends up happening is it analyzes your prompt, it creates itself a little to-do list, and then it starts going through the directory that it's active in and just kind of understand where it's at. Then it will begin creating the various files and folders that it needs. And along the way, it's gonna prompt you for those things. So in my case, I've told it before in previous conversations that it has the ability to automatically make directories, create files, change things, but that will prompt you basically every time. And in fact, here it's asking me, do we wanna create this simple hero block.php? So I'll just press the number one on my keyboard for yes, or I can do two and it will just continue creating those files. So let's just actually do two in this case. The other cool thing is while this is running, I can actually continue typing in here and give Claude code more context. So that way it's able to interpret the things that it's doing in real time. If you, if you think it's doing something you don't want it to do, you can tell it in real time and you don't have to wait for the whole thing to finish like you do with the web portal on you know, ChatGPT or even the Claude interface. So I'm gonna let this finish and I'll report back whenever it's done. And while we wait for that, this episode is brought to you by PyCalendar. 
Pi Calendar is the easiest and most flexible event calendar plugin for WordPress. In five minutes or less, you can turn any post on your website into an event that displays on a front end calendar. Pi Calendar is compatible with all themes and page builders and is super easy for both you and your clients to use. Packed with amazing features like recurring events, blackout dates, e-commerce integrations, and more, you won't miss the old bloated calendar plugins you used in the past. We have a lifetime deal available as well, so be sure to visit pycalendar.com to learn more. Okay, so once it's done, you can kind of see some of the progress. It created some CSS, updated its to-do list, and then down here, it gives me a general idea of the plugin structure, it tells me all the features and what to do to activate. So let's switch back over to this WordPress site. We're gonna refresh this plugins area, and there is our simple hero block plugin. Let's activate this and see if it works. We'll go to our homepage here. And then if we just search slash simple, there it is. Here is our simple hero. So if we drop this in, there's nothing there by default. So that might be something we want to change, but let's just go ahead and bring in this background image. Gradient overlay, we'll just leave that as is. Our button text will be learn more and the button link, let's just do to google.com. One thing it looks like it's missing is the hero title. I don't know what happened to the H1 hero that we requested, but we could always come back and add that later. So let's save and go take a look on the front end. And although we don't see the image properly in the back end, we can see that it is there. So, I mean, that's incredible. It created a custom block for us. And obviously there are some problems here. We can't see the text here. It forgot to give me the controls in the sidebar for the H1 and the description. The image preview probably needs to be better and show the actual image there, but I mean, in that, what has it been, like five or six minutes, we already created a custom block using Claude code on our site, which is super cool. Now, the thing about this is because it's a plugin, once we get it dialed in, it's portable. So we could install that on other sites that we manage. So this is really, really cool. Now, this is one simple example. What we would do from this point is we would just go back to Claude and we would just describe the problems and see if it can fix it. So let's go ahead and give that a shot. Okay, so my prompt now is just gonna be, okay, this is working well, but a few issues, the hero H1 text control appear to be missing, and we need to be able to change that text color. I also said background image doesn't appear in the editor preview, and we're gonna change the background overlay control to a regular color picker. So we could drop in like a hex color and then convert it to RGB using the opacity slider, like everywhere else you would expect in WordPress. So let's just go ahead and give it these directions and let's see if it can fix it. So it's gonna think about this stuff for a little bit. It'll kind of go back and forth with the plugin. It'll push some data up to Claude, analyze it and send it back down. And you can see it's gonna update this content in real time. I'll give this a minute and then we'll check back in. Cool, so now it says that it fixed all of these issues. So let's just go ahead and refresh this page and see what happens here. And <laughs> there we go, everything that I just asked it to do is working. So now the background image appears. We have this H1 that we can just click on and change to our own hero, just like that. Add our description and we can change the button text. Uh, of course, all using these controls here. So with our overlay, we'd be able to change the color. It doesn't seem like it does anything here in the back end, but again, you know, this is just kind of what we would expect here in terms of the, um, the back and forth that we'd have to have with the AI. But as we can see, all this stuff is still working. So we could just change this button text to buy now and we can save take a look on the front end and it should match. So our back end preview here is not full width versus our front end and that's just a generate press stock theme that I'm using. That would be a control we just have to go tweak, no problem there. But I mean, <laughs> in no time at all, it created us a custom block. How freaking cool is that? It's so awesome. So what else is Claude Code useful for in the context of WordPress? Well, I found a couple of examples where client sites that I've inherited over the years have like a bespoke plugin that somebody else built, they disappeared, and then it's still critical to their business. Claude Code is really good at analyzing that whole code base and being able to fix problems in those. In fact, I just had this about 10 days ago on a client site. They have this really important tool that they use on all different parts of their website, and it basically was just having an issue with interactivity. You couldn't click in the right spots and this plugin was able to help me fix that. So it's incredibly powerful for things like that. But again, I would only ever use this in a local environment like I demonstrated because it's so powerful. I would hate for it to make a change on a live site and break something. Even more so than that, like you saw in my example from before, if you have a product like Laravel or a custom HTML app or anything like that that's much more complex and has a large number of files and folders, Claude Code is able to analyze all that stuff and keep all of it in 
its context as you're working with it as compared to the web portals where you have to kind of feed it information and go back and forth and things break over here because you did something there. Claude Code is much better at fixing those kinds of things the first time. Of course, you have to use the command line, so that means using PowerShell and Windows to SSH in or the terminal on your Mac and SSH in directly. So there is some setup involved and there's a little bit of, you know, kind of overhead and just some comfortability you have to get used to here. But this is something that has been just absolutely tremendous and really a level up in a way that I never expected. So again, if you're interested in any of those other things I'm doing, like Cloud Panel Mastery, Pi Calendar, my community, any of that stuff, you can find links all to those in the description. If you have any questions or ideas on how you want to see me use Cloud Code in future videos, let me know and I more than welcome those. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in a future video.